I'm Larry Anglisano reporting for AbWeb and Aviation Consumer here at Sun and Fun 2018 in Lakeland, Florida, where a company called Rotorvox is here with an experimental gyroplane that it plans to sell as a kit here in the U.S. To tell us more about this machine, here's Rotorvox's Cobus Burger. We're here at uh, Sun and Fun 2018 with the Rotorvox gyroplane. Uh, the, this is the first show we're at and we're very happy to be here. Rotovox has been in the United States for about a month now and we're building up good momentum. Rotovox and Fly Design are owned by the same holdings company so there's a lot of cooperation on that front. The Rotovox is a fully composite carbon fiber gyroplane. A gyroplane is halfway in between a fixed wing airplane and a helicopter. It uses rotors as wings and the great benefit of that is the gyro plane cannot stall. That's one of the big safety features of a gyro. They're very stable in the air. They do very well in turbulence and wind. And they're also very easy to fly. In the US, you can fly a gyro with a sport pilot license. And you can continue with a private up to commercial and even a CFI on the gyro. The rotor box is powered by a uh, Rotax 914 turbocharged engine. We selected the 914 because of the turbo. This aircraft will be based up in Denver, Colorado until our first kit arrives later this year in June. So the turbo will come in pretty handy with some extra horsepower. The aircraft has an aluminum uh, rotor from Averso in, in France. It has a hydraulic pre-rotation system, which is maintenance free. It's uh, quite quiet and powerful. Another feature of the design is the dual tail boom construction, which allows for a wide horizontal stabilizer, which add to stability in flight. It also allows for the wide stance of the wheels, which increases stability on the ground. The aircraft also has elastomeric trading link suspension, which is not obvious when you look at it because all the internals are hidden away behind the, the side panels, but it allows for very soft landings and can even handle some uh, off-field grass strips very easily. With the carbon fiber construction, we've managed to keep the weight pretty low. Empty weight is just under 700 pounds, which allows for about 500 pound payload. It's enough for two adults with some uh, overnight gear and full tanks to enjoy some cross-country flying with the beautiful visibility you have out of this machine. The side-by-side -side seating also makes it very suited for training. Behind the pilots are two overnight bags which are part of the design. It's part of the ergonomic approach the Rotovox took to the design. This aircraft being one of the first production models comes with the steam gauges as people know them, the round dials. In future models we will be using Dynon avionics, the glass panels, and the instrument console will be shrunk down a little bit and moved closer to the pilot. It comes with a wand radio and a transponder installed, nav lights, rotating beacon, and uh, landing lights as well. Uh, as of right now, this aircraft is certified day VFR in Germany. With the kit approval process, we actually hope to get it approved for night VFR flying as well. And we also hope to increase the takeoff weight from 1,230 pounds right now, which is the 560 kilo limit in Germany for ultralights up to 1320 as for other light sport aircraft in the States. Because Rotorbox is owned by the same holdings company as Fly Design, we are partnering on a number of issues. One of which is that our builders assistance facility will be in Woodstock, Connecticut with Tom Pagini of Fly Design. In the future, we also hope to set a second location up in Denver, Colorado, where I am at Rocky Mountain Metro Airport, KBJC. With the Builders Assistance Program, which is based on the FAA checklist for gyroplanes, the 51% experimental amateur built, we expect the first few kits will probably be about three week build time. And as we gain experience, we hope to get that under two weeks. The price will fluctuate a little bit due to the fact that it's based on the Euro. Right now, it will be in the vicinity of $165,000, which includes the builder's assistance um, costs at uh, Tom's facility in Woodstock, Connecticut. The uh, order time, lead time for orders will be 
in the vicinity of three months as the companies consolidate manufacturing in the future we hope to get that down to two months or less if you're interested in finding out more you can go to www.rotorvox.com it's r-o-t-o-r-v-o-x.com 